Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the I sticks. Am. We're playing Madden 20, the Houston Oil Daddies. Yeah, boy. As always, we're playing offense only. We're sitting in the D. We're using that balance playbook. We're playing on all Madden arcade mode. TNT, what is new, dude? Uh, nothing today, man. Just woke up with breath in my lungs and life wow. in my heart, dude, and I feel great, dude. Wow. I never hear you say things like that. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover. I don't, man. I've known you long enough not to judge it. I am a complex individual with complex emotions. You absolutely are, but I have uh, I have told you before, so it is like be being in an area where we don't really know many people other than like ourselves. And, like, I mean, we, we know people, but like it's not like we're in our hometown. And yeah. like seeing people that like have never met you and then like we'll go somewhere together it, it's just it's interesting to see like what they like, like they just don't know what to think uh and, yeah and yeah. it's just like it's just so funny because like i know the truth it's like yeah. when you have a secret about somebody that you know and no one knows but you and you're just like it's funny dude i don't know I dig it. you secretly know only have three toes yeah yeah exactly they're all shaped like freaking vienna sausages yeah dude they're all vienna sausages they're literally they're literally oh, brody six Gun. Oh, Jonu. Look at Jonu tearing it up. Bro, audacious, sick gun. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, how, how are you feeling today, big guy? Huh? Yeah, man. Tell me about what's going on. I have been feeling tremendous. Yeah, I bet you have. Wait a while, dude. Jonu's been out here getting chicks. What do you mean? Flex, man. That's what I do, Jonah. Look, I flex for you so you don't have to. Yeah, you really do. I do this. You've told me numerous times you've to that you've told people at your work about my conquest. I do. <laughs> I flex for you. And that's just that work, man. I'm going to do it on the video, too. When you get an accomplishment, I'm going to be the one to bring it up. So that when they're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's oh, Jonas do. is getting chicks? Okay. <laughs> Tell us more, Shit's Jonas. Surprising to me, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, dude. I'm like, I'm like a, a proud parent watching. Jonas I know you're all like, oh, we're gonna try a 59 yard field goal, which is totally not. Yeah, you might get this. 59, dude. We don't have a good kicker. Well, maybe you know he's got the golden Jay's, toe. Oh, it was as accurate as it can be. And I don't think this. No, sure. That was I, that was as best as I could have hit it. Jay Sly, we tried, bro. You did try. Yeah. That's all right. We're down, but not out. Yeah, we got not high hinds. Um, yeah, so Jonas is out here getting chicks. I'm out here uh, losing my job. We talked about that the other day. Uh, this one may come out. I don't know when they're coming out. <laughs> this, this may be out of order. It's maybe out of order. Well, we, we alternate the videos between oh, we only QB1 did. and through Oilers, but we record them in a different order All right. and put them up. So. All right, well, forget that I said that. Well, if you don't know, he quit his job. Tomorrow, no, tomorrow's episode will be that episode. No, this one will be, this one's probably after that. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Whatever, dude. <laughs> we Sometimes we talk about the future in our videos. <laughs> sometimes we talk about the future? Yeah, we Well, do. sometimes we have memes that won't even make sense in that episode until you watch the next episode. We are not a... Chronological podcast channel. We're not a chronological channel, Jonas. Look, this guy's number fifty-nine. That yeah. son of a B. I know, right? Don't you ever put a nine after another number in my presence? You're being very practical. No, no, Jonas. But the, the Dolphamite saga will be respected. Yeah, dude, we respect it. Yeah, man. So yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess that's true. What you're saying. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't like toast. Uh, when's the last time you've been camping, man? Uh, I have only camped. Really? How old were you? Whoa, that's late, man. Is this with your with your ex? No, before that. Yeah, so no, I would have been. Let's see, where, where was I working? Okay, I was working there. That was in. I'll let you do the analysis, partner. But with every touchdown pass, this young yeah, twenty six, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the only time I've, I've I've camped like with a tent. One time when I was younger, I went with my friends. They but their, his parents had an RV, 
and we stayed in an RV park overnight, so it was kind of camping, not really. Like, one time where I put up a tent, we built a fire, like, all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. I just didn't know people who camped. Yeah, so I don't really even... I would go yeah. camping. I just never knew people I kind of feel like I would go camping. It is the most relaxing experience. I'm not going to say that. Waking up... <laughs> you wake up at whatever time you wake up, and you know you have nothing to do that day. So, like, you want crack and beer at 8 o'clock in the morning? Do it. If you're going, like, drink camping with all the amenities, man. I'm talking about, like, starting a fire. Yeah, you can start a fire if you drink a beer. I mean, you gotta get all, you bring in packing lighters and starter logs and stuff. Or newspaper. No, Jonas. I want to go out into the middle of nowhere, Jonas. You want to, like, survival camp. Yeah, I've dude. never done that. No, I won't. I don't want to be wolf. Like, what's We're that? in Texas. There's rattlesnakes and wolves. <laughs> this, ain't, this, this is not Ohio <laughs> camping, bro. Not even wrong. Yeah, I ain't trying to <laughs> scorpions and stuff. <laughs> I'm not going camping in Texas, man. No, dude. I feel like you got to take a class before you go camping in the outback, dude. Yeah, I'm not dude. Doing in that. Ohio, what are you going to run into? A deer? Nothing. Nothing. A deer. Yeah. That'd be either. it. Yeah. Maybe a, maybe a raccoon. A, yeah, a raccoon. Probably the most dangerous thing you run yeah. into. Yeah, it was a raccoon or a possum. Yeah, I mean, there are some That's wolves in Ohio, but not. Right but, now. like, here, there's, like, real stuff. Yeah, there's, like, some dangerous animals when you get into the south. Yeah, that was my. That was always one of my qualms about moving to the south was the fact that I knew there was, like, real wildlife out here. <laughs> right, it's not just, yeah, why? Maybe because it's warm here all the time? That yeah. They live down here? Yeah, and animals tend to thrive without that temperature fluctuation. That's true, yeah, when it's generally the same temperature most of the year, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, like, when I first saw a freaking uh, palmetto bug, I literally lost my crap, dude. I lost I, uh, all of my crap yeah, was lost. Yeah, I was freaked out because I'm used to roaches, meaning you're dirty. It's nasty. But, like, the big ones are just, like, part of life here. I mean, they can't come if your house is dirty. Look, all right, yeah, it's all cool that, uh, you know, they just come in for water, and it doesn't yeah. mean you're dirty. I don't care about your place being dirty. I care about the big freaking roach on the wall, crawling around, just looking. Yeah. And everybody's like, cool. Like, we're at the restaurant. Everyone's just like, whatever, dude. Everybody's like, oh, look at this. This is where I'm palmettos. Everybody's gazing at it with amazement. I'm like, somebody kill it. <laughs> Please. Fire it with fire. Please, someone murder this bug for me. Yeah, I didn't like it, dude. You didn't. I, I don't. I still don't, man. I'm, I'm not a fan of You keep your cool all the time, but like, I could Yo. see like it was like you were trying so hard to keep your cool and not <laughs> at the same time. Yo. It was very interesting <laughs> to watch. It was Yo. like you were like cool, but like I could tell like in the eyes you were like. I swear, I got PTSD, man. I remember I was helping one member's cousins. Now, there's like, it's so like my sister in law's cousin's cousin. So that's why I said Right, family. so it's not even blood, and yeah. it's like three removed from the marriage. Yes. Yeah. So I'll, I've always been a big mother trucker. So, like, they're, everybody, whenever they needed somebody to help move, they're like, oh, just call Dynamite up. He'll, he'll yeah, help you can carry the heavy stuff. So I'm like, yeah, fam, I got you because technically you are fam. Yeah, right. right <laughs> kind I of. Like, I and I'm like, I'm going to help the fam out. So I go over, and she's got roaches. Like little boys? Like little boys. This happened up north. Oh, this is gross. Town. So, like,. I walk in and I, I see him like crawling over the walls. I feel like I'm good. And I was like, oh, y'all got like all I could tell them was like, oh, y'all got roaches. Y'all know. <laughs> well, right. Because then they're just going to bring them into their new house. Because exactly. They were moving them out. So yeah, but like, they're gonna take that stuff and put it somewhere else. Yeah, and it's just gonna they're gonna reinfest. Exactly. So yeah. I'm like, y'all got roaches, huh? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, really? I just need your help with with the stove and the refrigerator and this. And I'm like, there's also a roach looking at me on top of this refrigerator right now, fam. And you want me to put my hands on this? I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you did nope out on him. Uh, I noped out, man. I was like, look, I'm going to go stand in the truck, and then you can hand me boxes, and I will grab it with my thumb and my forefinger only, and I will put them into Did they think that was weird? Because I don't think that's weird at all. No. They, weren't, they were more embarrassed, but, hey, look, I don't care how embarrassed you are. You could have at least warned me before I got there. Let me, let me speak some truth. If I had roaches, and I knew people were coming to help me, I would bomb my house. It's better to find well, they dead were, roaches. Well, they were moving out. It doesn't matter. 
you don't want to take the roaches are in everything. I agree. <clears throat> you would. If I found one roach in our apartment, oh, dude, fam. I would like a real Orkin. roach. Orkin. Orkin. Yeah, dude, like I would like literally like I would feel so disgusting. Not only the fact that they're in here, but that like we had conditions that were good enough to bring. Them. Right. It right. Was, I would be mortified. Right. Mm -hmm. And like when I worked for the rent to own company, dude, and I'd go to people's houses, I would be like, I would, I was so, I dropped the controller, I'm so. <laughs> And now like, and I, I remember, myself, like, going to people's houses and just being, like, right now the play thinking, gutturally disgusted at what I saw. Because they had roaches? Ro just how filthy people live. It made me still great yeah. about any situation yeah. I've ever been in. I'm like, yeah. oh, I was an 18-year-old guy. Like, I had a pretty filthy house. I'm like, no. No, I didn't. No. I didn't have a filthy house no. at all. No. I never had a roach, no matter what. No, me either. And... I'm not, the, my room ain't ever the cleanest, but I've never had roaches. Yeah, dude, like, never, we used to have to, like, never. literally, like, as soon as we went into a house, if, if, like, we were returning, like, furniture or something, yeah. we would have, as soon as we saw a roach, we'd have to go in and call my boss and be like, hey, we got roaches. And he'd be like, okay, put it in the back of the truck, on the way back to the store, stop at the store, buy bug bombs, throw them bees in there. Leave it in the truck overnight. We may have to bomb it again in the morning. Oof. Because you can't bring it in the store because no. that's the whole store. No. No. Yeah, dude. I, uh, one time I took, uh, there was roaches in a big screen TV. One of the, um, one of those ones that was like the, 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 the panel ones. What is happening? Uh, the panel ones that, uh, the floor models with the plastic frame around them and stuff. Do. And we knew it had ro it roaches, so we bu we bug bombed it, and uh, we brought it in, and we were like, okay, we got to clean this thing up. I took the frame off around the TV, and it literally was like a solid wall of roaches dead around the entire screen, like in that frame, like a roach frame. It was the most foul thing I've ever seen in my life. Like I, I took a picture of it. I probably have it on a hard drive. So it was. So gross. A roach frame. It was like a roach frame, dude. Because like, because when you take that that plastic off, there's a plexiglass screen and then the real screen, and it's mounted on four screws, but it's pretty open around it. Other than that, that's why they have that plastic frame there. And it was the whole bottom of it was just like it. I was like, because uh, roaches live in electronics because they're yeah, warm. Because they're warm. Did you have to clean it out? We ended up just we ended up throwing, throwing it away. It was like we we opened it up and saw that it was just like we can't salvage this. No, like it was like we yeah we did Jeez, yeah it was, dude it was, it was foul. Dude. Roaches are really gross. and look and I understand is that sometimes you know people can't afford to live in a different place and it's not you that is the problem with the roaches it's your neighbor because if one person in the place gets roaches right right. Then everybody's gonna end up getting roaches. But there's a difference between like you got infested from the neighbor and your house is dirty enough to have them on. <laughs> There, there it is. There yeah. it is. Like, just because you got roaches don't mean you got to adapt to the roaches like I just don't mantra. Wanna, I just don't want to isolate our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, if, the, if out of the seven, <laughs> you guys got roaches, believe me. We stand strong yeah, with you. Clean your house, friend. You let us know if you got roaches. We'll call Orkin for you. Yeah, Put it in the comments we'll below. Tell, we'll tell you. We'll give, you the, we'll give, us, give us your city yep. and give us your address. <laughs> no. Your I bank, don't want any Your bank address. account information yeah <laughs> go get your mommy's visa I, I saw a thing on uh on reddit and it was like like it was a life pro tip and they were like if you see one of those quizzes that's like what's your stripper name and it's like oh your mother's maiden name and your first pet you know and then you pick the letter or whatever and it tells you like what your stripper name is yeah. it was like don't ever put that on because it's a fishing technique to find out information about you yeah, and then is. and then the first comment, the guy was like, your stripper name, your bank login. Is so <laughs> I was like, somebody would fall for that. <laughs> oh, my stripper name is <laughs> National Bank of America, 1765V87. No, um, yeah, that's funny, though. Yeah, dude. 
Oh, man, Jonas, man. I'll never forget that day I had to help that lady move her roaches. Um, I, yeah, I don't know the last time I've even seen, like, a regular roach. I think they call them Germans down here. Oh, I don't know what they call them. Yeah, because they, they call them, them like, the big ones. They're just like, oh, that's cool, man. Like, no, it's not. No, it's not. But, yeah, they call them Germans because that's what they call them in, uh, in Florida. Oh, because they're like, yeah. why are they called Germans? Because that's their German breed roaches. They're an invasive uh, breed of cockroach that came from Germany. Oh, okay. That live in, on like filth and heat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they, I don't, I don't believe they're indigenous to this area, though. I could be wrong. Truth, not facts. Yeah, I don't think they live here. <laughs> I mean, I mean originally. Oh yeah, yeah originally. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. We got tons of invasive species, like how iguanas are invasive species to Florida. Like Florida, man, there's some real wildlife out there, oh, brother. Oh yeah, dude, I'm getting gators. There's some wildlife, dude. I remember my first month in Florida. I was just driving down the street. And there was just like three, four peacocks just walking down the street. Peacocks? Dead ass. Wow, dude. <laughs> just freaking peacocks, man. I literally get out of the car and them things were like. I was like, okay, these like, ain't. Oh, they're not nice. <laughs> these <laughs> these <laughs> aren't the friendly peacocks. Yeah, these aren't the ones in the zoo that are medicated. Yeah, these are the demon peacocks that attack people's cars and stuff. I'm like, okay, I got gotcha. you. Oh, pretty peacock. They hiss at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was great because, like, I lived on Cape Canaveral. Like right yeah. next to where like Disney set off their ships and stuff, so I saw all types of wildlife. And there was a beach right over there, dude. Oh my god, dude! Manatee. They had a manatee like uh, Farm? no, it was like manatees were in the water, like right in like our backyard. Oh wow, they're like endangered. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, and you could like take a boat out there, but there was like strict laws, like you cannot touch the manatees, you cannot feed the manatees. If you harm a manatee, you will be. Shot on site. Yeah, this this lake is under constant uh, Manatee surveillance. Yeah, there's surveillance and stuff. So like, God, man, that was like the KGB. <laughs> it was, man. And like, you, dude, it was amazing to just like drive on the freeway in Florida and you would just see dolphins and marlin just like jumping yeah, like out of the water. My, uh, like my ex-girlfriend was from uh, like over by South Padre Island. Yeah. And like I went down with her to visit her family one time and we went to like this restaurant and they had like all this tourist stuff because it's a very touristy area. Mm -hmm. And they were like, go on the dolphin tour. And I'm like, you have an MF and dolphin tour and you didn't tell me about this? She's like, yeah, there's dolphins all over. I'm like, there's dolphins all over my face. There are literally dolphins. And then she goes, it's not that big of a deal. My friends run the dolphin boat. We can go out on it. I'm like, we have to go to the dolphin boat. And then we didn't. And then you didn't? Yeah. No. We didn't have time. But, That's fine. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's dead ass just like dolphins all over the place, man. It's great. Yeah, dude, I want to see real dolphins. And like, fishing is crazy. So like, I would drive on the freeway to get to work, and then like the freeway, you could just like pull off, and there was just like water. And so guys would just like pull off on the freeway oh, yeah, and, they would just and just start fishing like right there. That's awesome. And like it was just like lying. like in Texas, it's open water. As long as you have a license, you can fish in any water that does not say. No yeah, fishing. yeah. So you could like anything, like a stream. If you want to fish there, you can. So. But it was just like a thing down there where like you every day I would go to work and I would see like lines of cars and just people fishing. Because in the world there's tons of good fish too. Yeah, I don't know. It was just, you would never see that in Ohio. <laughs> you have no. radiation poisoning. And we had water right next to the freeway, right around Dead Man's Curve at least. There was like. Oh yeah, you get some real good boots out of there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. If you've already done that, share the video with your friends. We would be greatly appreciative of that. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we will catch you on the next one. And we are a uh,